the first time that Mr. Akufuado is traveling to Burkina Faso since he claimed in a meeting with American government officials that the Burkina Bays were working with Russian mercenaries in their attempt to contain jihadists that are fomenting trouble in the country. The comment triggered a diplomatic storm between the two neighboring countries with Burkina Faso summoning the Ghanaian ambassador in Ouagadougou. Only last week, more than 44 people were killed along Burkina Faso's border with Niger. The attack is only the recent in a series that has ravaged the country. Ghana has survived some of these attacks that has occurred in several of its neighbors. But with the increased activity that is going on with jihadists along its border with Burkina Faso, analysts have suggested it may well be a matter of when and not if that Ghana too has its own share of the problem. More than 4,000 people have recently crossed the border from Burkina Faso into Ghana, into refugee camps that have been set up by the United Nations. Analysts have also suggested that these camps may now be the new threat where attacks may be launched from. The instability in Burkina Faso has also exacerbated the cost of living in Ghana. The country imports uh, more than half of its vegetable produce from Burkina Faso. As instability continues up there, uh, women who travel to markets in Burkina Faso are unable to travel to bring in uh, some of these produce. And the cost of living as a result have worsened in the country.